Altimeters will go back um, 50, 60, 70 years before they turn digital. How they used to work is if I get a tin can, seal it. So that's a sealed tin can. I now put it inside a vacuum chamber. That tin can will blow up like a balloon in a pop. Is everybody cool with me so far? So, at air, at ground level, pressure equals 101.3 kilopascals. So, the air pressure, at sea level, it's 101.3 kilopascals. You go at 1,000 metres, it's 89. So it's 10% difference. That's basically central west New South Wales. Air pressure's 10 kilopascals lower, being 1,000 metres above sea level. You go up 3,000 metres, it's at 70 kilopascals. You go up cruising height of a jumbo jet, it's 30. That's also the top of Mount Everest. All those people you see that are climbing up Mount Everest without oxygen masks, their lungs are three times the normal size pressing inside their chest due to the difference in air pressure. Okay, that is why it is an absolute endurance. That's why you see a lot of people with oxygen masks, because there's only one third of the amount of air up there per breath. Yeah? So, we have this tin sealed inside a vacuum. At sea level, that's 101.3. Now let's get rid of the vacuum. Let's now open this thing up to the air. At sea level, the pressure inside that tin is 101.3, the pressure inside there is 101.3. So it only expands in one direction. Let's put this with a little crinkle cut sort of ridge on the tin. Like that. So now it's only expanding up and down. Yeah? Now on top of it, let's put a straight gear. Attach that to a dial with a gear tooth on it. Yeah? So, at sea level, the pressure inside that is always 101.3 because it's sealed. Yeah? When I go up 1,000 metres, the pressure inside there is 89. That's bolted to the bottom. That rises a bit because the pressure inside is less. When it rises a bit, that gets the gear and it drives the gear out to here and it says, oh, you are now 1,000 metres up in the air. Too simple? 3,000 metres. Because it's gone up further, it's now saying you're there. It actually does complete revolutions, the gear's that sensitive. But does it all make perfect sense? Yeah. When you get up and try and fly over Mount Everest, that's three times the size. Okay, now the dial's out here going, you are really, really high. Look out for Edmund Hillary. Make sense? That's what you've, that's how an altimeter work, and that's the entire extent of flight instrumentation in the syllabus. Pitot tubes, altimeters.